Dog. When I tell you this, this was in the midst of 11.30 last night. Guys, D fucking Angelo. I, I, Y'all, I just, I really can't this year. I've been getting slayed by so many people, guys. I, I'm not going to even get into it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Y'all, this has been another year of slayage music, guys. Real music is finally coming back. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Lord, take the wheel. Anyway, guys, D'Angelo dropped his album in the midst of nowhere. He pulled a fucking Beyonce. I didn't think nobody else could do it, but Yesterday, D'Angelo proved me wrong. This boy dropped an album, hasn't dropped an album in within 14 years, guys. It's been 14 years. Because y'all know D'Angelo was uh, going through some things, depression. He was using drugs. Guys, I'm so glad he is finally back in the music scene. He is now 40 years old. Guys, I've been following D'Angelo's career ever since I was little. I've been loving every, I like every last one of his songs. Uh, Voodoo was one of my favorite albums, guys. My favorite song by D'Angelo is un Untitled. Guys, please do not get me started. Uh, not to mention, by the way, D'Angelo is, uh, is Beyonce, one of Beyonce's favorite artists. By the way, she speaks highly of D'Angelo. Um, guys, I am just so slay. He pulled a Beyonce yesterday. It was 11.30 when I officially found out. I was the first one who put five stars and liked it and, and liked it and wrote a review saying I'm glad D'Angelo's back. I was the first one to, 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 to do the review on iTunes about the album. Now, guys, I listened to the CD. I listened, first, I listened to the 30-second snippets. I was just in awe. I was in awe because I I just I you know what it's been so long since D'Angelo has been on a music scene. But yes, yes, D'Angelo. Now let's get let's let's get to this review, guys. Ain't that easy? It ain't that easy, y'all. It ain't that easy to be living in this world, y'all. Let me just tell y'all something. I love the message behind every song of this album. It speaks about love. It speaks about honesty. It speaks about politics. It speaks about tr uh, 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 trust. It speaks about unity. It speaks about being uplifted. Y'all, it speaks about the Lord. It speaks about the Ferguson children. It speaks about, oh my God, y'all. It's just so, it's just so much. It's just so much. I I, I, I I just love it. It has 12 songs. Guys, I'm going to get into it. Ain't that easy. It's very uplifting. It's funky. It's bringing real music back. Thank you, Jesus. Then we got number two. 1,000 deaths. Okay, now, I, 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 y'all I, y'all know I need to look at the words to really understand some of the, the words on the song. Because, you know, some of his words on the song is kind of, I, 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 you know, D'Angelo was always like this. Uh, as far as him, it's enunciation, and but guys, he's just fit. I, I, I understand it. It's just it's, it's his it's his art. It's the way he portrays his music, guys. Um, uh, one thousand deaths, I believe, is dedicated to the Ferguson shooting and the riot, guys. It's got to be talking about. It has to honestly. I think the song's talking about the world. As far as we have over a thousand deaths every year, guys, I think this song is just so relatable to this world because even though I don't understand what he's saying in the song yet, because I got to look at the words and understand. Because once I look at the words, y'all know I'm gonna know every word. Um, once I really understand the words to that song, I will get, I get the message. But pretty much, if, if the title speaks for itself, and I really enjoy. Uh, uh, the, 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 the part that he's bringing unity and, 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 and just real passion back into music. The charade. It, 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 it speaks about a, a masquerade. Uh, y'all know it's, it talks about an un unbelievable appearance. Uh, I believe it's talk, I believe it's about uh, another song that's dedicated to life. And it's just bringing unity. And God, it reminds me of Prince. Guys, let me tell y'all something. Most of the songs on this album remind me of Prince Lenny. Kravitz, Al Green, y'all, it's the, the old D'Angelo is just still there. The, he still got that funky sound. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's just still giving the, the, the melodies and those. Ah, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all can tell this is definitely Prince inspiration, guys, because y'all can tell he's very inspired by Prince. 
And every last one of his albums, guys, this is his third album. That first album within 15 years, guys, of uh, 14 years. I'm just so happy he is back. Then we got Sugar Daddy. Y'all know he a little freaky freak. He Aquarius, but he a little freak. And he just got to make these little nasty ass songs. I guess he's dedicating the song to a young woman that he probably, I don't know if he's seeing a young woman. It's called Sugar Daddy. Y'all know it speaks for itself. He want to be her sugar daddy. Y'all, I ain't got time for D'Angelo's nasty ass this early in the morning. Really, really love. Uh, it's beautiful songs talking about really wanting to be in love with a person. Really want, y'all, D'Angelo is just on this album. Real music. The beats is so soothing. It's just so it's just uplifting to the soul. And I just love it. Guys, then we get Back to the Future Part 1. Y'all don't even get me damn started. Please don't get me started. Back to the Future Part 1 is, is him reminiscing on the good times of his life, the good times he spent with some of his friends. It's just a reflection. Y'all know he got that from the movie called Back into the Future. But guys, this is a pure a pure living art of... Um, sorry about that. Of our, uh, 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 of talking about uh, reminiscing on how he, he wished things was the way it used to be, like back in the, uh, the earlier days of his career. I just really love it. Till it's done. Okay, till it's done. I think uh, it's uh, Tutu. I, I don't know if this is a, a song he's relating to, uh, 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 like a song or a message that he's relating, displaying to somebody, a friend or something. But guys, it, it reminds me of Al Green. It has a powerful message. It's just giving me that old school funk with the guitar. And I, I just love it. It's real drums, real bass, just real music. It's jazzy. I just love it. Then we got Prayer. This man is doing the Lord's Prayer. I never heard a funky gospel song before, guys. This is like a funky gospel song. He's saying the whole Lord's Prayer. And I just really love how he 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 is giving his he, giving his soul over to Christ. Lord Jesus, <laughs> want to do it. Uh, uh, I just love that song, Betray My Heart. It's soulful. It's, it's, it's talking about don't betray my heart, bitch. Don't. Uh, 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 cast me out. Don't, you know, I, I, oh, I. This boy did it, Beyonce. I'm so done with D'Angelo right now. It's been, this is my first review of D'Angelo that I ever did, guys. I'm so, I'm so honored to do this. D'Angelo is a, 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 a very, uh, is a very, very, uh, um, um, a good artist that I looked up to for years and years and years and years. But anyway, Betray My Heart was, was, uh, was soulful and jazzy. Uh, then we got The Door. It has a very familiar sound. It's so soothing. It's got a melody to it. Yeah, I just, I love the real music on this album. I'm buying in my damn copy. Uh, 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 I got so much shopping to do for Christmas, y'all. I ain't even, I ain't even started Christmas shopping really yet. But anyway, ooh, Back to the Future 2. It's continuing Back into the Future 1. Y'all, he's just still saying, bring back the memories of the good times. Another Life, which is the last song. Okay, it's one of my favorite songs on the album. He's giving me Marvin Gaye, Prince, uh, 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 all at the same time, he's just singing high, and his notes, y'all, I just can't, I want to slap the hell out of this man right now for making me wait 14 years for this good-ass album. Why you wait 14 damn years to drop this masterpiece? I, I just don't understand why Black Messiah is just uh, 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 one of those albums that you can just, you can't skip. You can you gotta listen to it, y'all. You gotta understand the story and the message behind this album. I am truly a D'Angelo fan, y'all. I've been loving D'Angelo ever since. Y'all, I just said that. I'm I'm repeating myself. But anyway, guys, please give me your comments. All D'Angelo fans, tell me, Team D'Angelo, tell me what y'all think uh, about the album. Um, are you gonna buy the album? Buy it on iTunes, buy pick up more than one copy. Y'all, I can't right now. These people are slamming me. Nicki Minaj, J. Cole, oh my god, Luke James, Tanache. I can't. Y'all, this is forever brand of TV. I, I I just can't fucking right now. I can't do it. I can't do it.